Hey, hi friends. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss on a small topic uh, called schemas. Uh, schemas plays an important role, uh, like uh, while uh, designing the jobs. Uh, so, so today we are going to discuss on the concept called the schemas. Okay, fine. Now, what is schema and uh, how many ways we are creating the schemas in talent? Uh, uh, talent etl2 so we have uh, in my knowledge i'll i'll use these four types like uh, uh, in these four ways i'll create a uh, schema so one is a manual additions uh, and the second one is creating a metadata and the uh, third one is ex uh, export and import from the existing connection and the uh, fourth one is uh, copy paste uh, like if we have an uh, uh, already uh, one schema is already is there so we can copy and paste it in another part. so uh, why we are uh, why we need this schema schema is uh, just like something like uh, for example okay give me one minute okay if you have something like uh, one input field so we are just informing uh, informing the component that uh, what type of data types available in that uh, input suppose uh, we have this uh, file input excel files uh, we have id uh, first name last name is and your state id so we are just informing the component something like we have id as a integer that uh, first name is uh, completely string last name is a string uh, is uh, like uh, is an integer and us uh, id as a integer uh, why like uh, if you uh, like uh, uh, if you want to something like do it manually, so it is very tricky because uh, in our real time projects, we have uh, like uh, n number of columns like so at that point of time, we will use uh, so many methods. So today I'll, we are going to discuss like how to create those schemas and all those things. First, I'll take one example. First, I'll create one job. Great. So schemas, okay, I'll just give confirmation for that, okay. Uh, I'm briefing about something like, uh, again, that uh, this is the palette and this is the repository and this is the outline view and this is the designer view. Uh, once uh, after creating uh, the job only uh, this entire the designer view enables and the palette also enables palette consists of lot of uh, components okay fine now i am taking t file input delimited okay fine i just want to create schema for this I click on edit schema i am just adding one, two, three, four. In this way, you will add a schema for this ID we have. The input ID is not a valid for those. Okay. Okay. ID equal to. And the second one is first underscore name. And the third one is last underscore name. And the fourth one is so city. Like you can add what are the things available, what are the uh, fields ID, first name, last name, yes, US ID state. Okay, fine. First name, ID small, first name. First name and the second one is the last. Sorry, I missed it. Okay, first name. First name is is. Copy, copy here, and copy paste. 
okay you should know that something like while adding manually you should know ids which data type id is like uh, integer the first name is string last name a string you should completely aware about uh, data types and all those things because uh, like uh, if you are if you did any mistake it will uh, lose the entire control of your uh, uh, job okay uh, like uh, as is also uh, like uh, integer and us state id is also like uh, integer okay fine now click on OK button. This is one way of uh, uh, creating uh, like schema. The another way of creating schema is I'll let you know. Okay, I'll take one more T file, T file input delimited. Okay, for this I'll create the second way is uh, like uh, here. The second way is creating metadata. So okay, fine. Uh, we just create the metadata by clicking here, uh, clicking right click on it. Like already the uh, already uh, uh, all the DB connections and all available. You just click this one, right click, create a file delimited name like uh, demo schema demo schema demo one. It's like uh, you like uh, for test. I'm just mentioning as a test. Click on the next button. Uh, just browse the file which we have. Uh, it's already there in talent projects. Excel files. Input files. This one. Click the open button. Okay. The entire the file is there. So what happened here is something like it just captures the all the data from that file and analyze uh, analyze the data and while we are clicking the next button i should analyze and gives the like uh, data types for this meta or data types for that fields and just okay fine okay refresh the preview the id first name last name is us and state id when we click the next button Sorry, uh, something we did the mistake. Go back and we just it's a semicolon field separator. It's a comma separated. The file because uh, the file consists uh, with commas, comma separated and click on the next button. Uh, now ID is integer, first name is string, last name is string, A's is string, US uh, state ID is string. So it automatically analyzes the data and uh, it shows uh, what ID is which, which type and first name is which type. So uh, click on the finish button finally. And it also captures the length, uh, length of that something like entire uh, column length and all those things. Automatically it, it gives us. Uh, click on the finish button this is the second way now the third way how to do the file input delimited so now i am just using this third way like export and import from the existing connection this is the this method so in this method we have a one connection it's already there, a DB connections. DB connections is there. So uh, this DB connection is already established uh, in our metadata. I just want to show you how, uh, I just want to show you what DB connections I already provided. Click on the next button. I already like uh, establish a connections. A login is root, password is so-and-so. So server is connected localhost and port is this one and connected DB is test two. So what happened is like I just checked whether the connection is successful. The connection is MySQL connection is already connected successful. Okay, fine. Now click on the finish button. Okay, do you want to propagate the changes? Yes. Okay, fine. Now click this one and click this one and create a retrieve schema. 
So while uh, retrieving the schema, it asks you something like some uh, uh, predefined already all fields are uh, like uh, already selected. You just click on the next button. And uh, in the database, in this database, what are the tables? Like uh, one, two, and personal details too. I, I just want this, uh, this table schema. So click on this one. Like if you want to go with the two, I'll go with the two. I'll go with the one right now and click on the next button. I'll click on the next button. So it automatically captures uh, like ID, first name, last name, and age, age and US state ID. It's because uh, that, uh, that uh, the one table is already there in my database. So I'm just using that uh, table schema and I'm exporting exporting all the like retrieve the schema okay i'm just copying it and export uh, export in talent project excels xml files xml files i'm naming name should be name should be two okay i'm just click on the save button gonna finish okay we want to properly it yes. okay. now click on the edit schema i i want to use that schema for this third one like uh, for this uh, this is first one which i created manually this is the second one which i created using the metadata this is the third one which i export and import edit the schema there is no schema here and first you want to uh, like you already exported and you right now you want to import the schemas click the talent projects click on the xml files and click the second one and click on the open the schema is there now click ok button this is the third way okay now i'm going to tell you something like uh, the fourth way is just copy paste one like don't bother uh, like uh, uh, the fourth one, where is the fourth one? Uh, this is the copy paste thing. Fine. Now uh, click this one. I just copy the file input delimited. And this one, click on this one. We have the third one is already there. Edit schema. Just control A. Just click this copy. Close this one and click on this one. There is empty schema is there. Just paste here. That's it. The fourth one. Click on OK. These are the four ways. Uh, so I, I know these the these are the four ways. If you have something like any alternative way, you know to design them, uh, like uh, schemas and all those things. Just uh, uh, ping me in the like uh, in the comment section. So I should also uh, aware about it. Okay. Thanks, friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.